Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I finally have an update to my palettes on the chopping block series. I think I only filmed an intro and when I filmed that, I had already started the project. So I think I had already shared what I decluttered and what I was keeping. I probably should have watched that video before filming this one, <laughs> but anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do today is tell you the palettes that I decluttered since I last gave an update, what I kept after trying, and then I'll tell you what's still currently in my chopping block box. So it's not going so well because I just filmed my makeup inventory, which you might have seen before this video because I finally finished it. And I have 176 eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And that is kind of crazy. So I was hoping with this series, I would kind of like do a lot of decluttering, but it's not really working like that because I am actually enjoying these eyeshadow palettes. So the first two that I decluttered, I don't have them anymore because I put them in my declutter bag and then my mom last time she came over just took the whole bag <laughs> with her because she has friends like she can share things with too anyway so i only decluttered two palettes since my last update um the first one was the pure festival 2.0 palette and the second one was the wet n wild comfort zone and that palette, I did like, I liked both of those palettes to be honest, but I just don't need them in my collection because they're not like the best formulas that I own or they're not super unique to my collection. The Wet n Wild Comfort Zone one specifically, I only used a few times, but um, first of all, it's discontinued. It wasn't the original one, it was like, the second release and I think they since changed it again I don't know but either way it wasn't like my favorite palette so I decided I didn't need it um, and then I kept three palettes like I said so these were already put back in my collection but I'll show you them the first one was this IBY Beauty Threes Company well yeah it's called Three's Company. It's a trio eyeshadow palette. And I really just like this a lot. It's a really basic <laughs> eyeshadow trio, but the quality is so good. And I love all three shades. It just really makes sense to me as a trio because you have this like, oops, this transition shade that's not too deep, but not too light. This really nice like, goldy bronze shade and this light inner corner highlight for me um, so I really like this one and I see myself like when I do wear eyeshadow when I travel which is rare I would probably bring this with me because it's just really small and compact and an easy look to do the second one is the Butter London Natural Goddess palette and I'm looking at my computer if you're wondering. Um, this one, I think I didn't use all the shades but the ones that I did use, I just really liked the look that I did with this palette. It's not super unique but I just really like the color story of this one and I decided I'm going to keep it. so. I kept this one too. This is a six pen palette, if you didn't see. And the last one I kept is the Hello Charmer. This is like a BoxyCharm exclusive palette. Like the brand is BoxyCharm, so I don't know, but I ended up really liking this. I honestly didn't think I would because I'm pretty sure I saw like bad reviews on this but I think I mentioned in my last video I think people were just disappointed to get a palette 
in BoxyCharm by BoxyCharm, you know what I mean? So I think that had something to do with it. But I really like this. I honestly don't remember the look that I did, but I guess I liked it because I kept it. And in this project, like, even if I like something, I might still get rid of it. But apparently, I don't want to get rid of this one. So, kept those three palettes. For now, we can always see what happens in the future. So, next I have um, eight palettes that were um, already in here. And since I always want to be working on ten palettes in this box, I chose two more. So, I'll show you those at the end. But the ones that are still in here, some of them since the beginning. Um, the first one is the Pure Festival palette. So like I said, I did declutter the 2.0, but I still haven't made up my mind about this one. Um, I probably will declutter this one, to be honest, just because there's two pressed glitters that I know I'm not gonna reach for. And the rest of this palette is not very unique. It's like neutrals with a pink and a purple. So I'm pretty sure I have this elsewhere. But I do really like the pure eyeshadow formula. So we'll see. If you're new here, I don't like to declutter things, obviously. <laughs> I only really declutter things if I know I don't like them and or if I know someone else will like them better. So, yeah, I don't know. Still haven't made up my mind about this one. This next one is from Ciate London. It's the Pretty Fun and Fearless palette when back a long time ago when they collabed with Chloe Morello. This is a really pretty, like, purpley neutral palette. I haven't tried this one yet. So, still not sure about it. The only reason I might declutter it, even if I do end up really liking it, is because it's so old. Like, I don't even know if Chloe Morello makes beauty YouTube anymore. I, I, I haven't seen her in years, so I'm not even sure. So this was obviously like limited edition also. So it's not like something I would talk about on my channel. But I really do like this color story, so we'll have to see about this one. Then I have another Pure palette. This is actually another BoxyCharm exclusive. This one was in my Pando's Eyeshadows project, and I really liked it when I used it. But again, it's not... It's not even unique in my Pure Palette collection. Like, this Pure Festival Palette, is it really all that different? It's maybe more like warm tone? I don't know. It still has the pop of purple, but this one has a blue. So yeah, we'll see. I could see myself decluttering both of these, but I might end up really liking them, and that's why I just can't declutter them just to declutter. This one is a really old palette in my collection. It's from Studio Makeup. It's the On The Go eyeshadow palette. This is another, like, purpley neutral palette, like the Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. Let's compare them, actually. Like, there's... There's a lot of similarities between the two, but obviously this is just a nine pen palette. Um, this palette I remember being really good quality, but it is one of my oldest palettes, so I'd like to use it again now that I have more palettes in my collection and like different color stories than I used to. Maybe I might not be as impressed with this one anymore. Also, I don't know where you would even buy this palette. I got it in a BoxyCharm, as I do most of my <laughs> makeup. So yeah, we'll see about this one. I don't think there's a name of this. 
I don't see a name anywhere. I guess it's just called On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. So, I do feel like this is a one and done. Is that the word? Like a palette where I wouldn't need to reach into other things to complete a look. Like it has a matte cream shade, it has a light shimmer shade, it has deeper matte shades, so that's what, you know, I'm hesitating about. This one, the Kylie the Burgundy palette. This is another really old palette in my collection. I probably don't need this at all considering Kylie, like, rebranded or something. I don't know. I don't even care. I, I'm not into the Kardashians at all. Um, but I do like this color story. But I have said in previous videos, the namesake of this palette, which is this burgundy shade, is the worst shade in the palette. So this one is probably going to get decluttered um, because you can't get it anymore anyway. And I'm not like a Kylie fan, so there's that. This one, another thing, I think this brand rebranded. Um, this was from Laura Lee Los Angeles, the Party Animal palette. I'm pretty sure she doesn't make this anymore, but I got this in a boxy charm. And the reason I've been keeping it all these years is because I don't have any neon shades like this in any other palette from what I can think of. Um, but I have heard th these shadows are not that good anyway. And I think this is like her old formula. So, yeah. I know like these two shades are not very unique. Probably, I don't know. I'm thinking of my ABH Norvina mini palette that has some similarities to these but again i want to try it before making my final decision this next palette was actually given to me from my mom because she got it in a boxy charm <laughs> this is from ColourPop, and i think this is a palette when they were being sold at Sephora very briefly, I think this was one of the palettes they were selling. It's the Semi Precious, and this is an all shimmer palette, which I don't mind. Um, I have done looks, I have done all shimmer looks, but honestly, if I had a palette where there's mattes and shimmers, I'm always going to start with the mattes, but I can make them work. Um, I just don't think I need this one and it's probably again like the pure palettes This color story is probably not even unique to my ColourPop collection So I don't need palettes that are like duping the brand itself if you know what I mean um, But there is something making me want to try this before Making a decision again um, So we'll see about this one and this last one may be one of the oldest palettes in my collection. This is from the brand Pure Cosmetics, but not like P-U-R. It's like pure, like P-U-R-E. And this is a dupe of the Naked 3, like even down to the packaging. Um, the fact that there's a brush inside and the shape of the pans and everything. <laughs> so... I don't know if I need to keep this. I don't own the Urban Decay Naked 3. Um, those palettes were already like old news when I started getting into makeup, so I never got them. But I do remember liking this palette when I used it, but that was a long time ago. So I probably, you know, have tried things since that are better, but I'd really like to try it again before making my final decision. So those are all the palettes. There's so much noise outside. Um, those are all the palettes that were already in the project. So before filming today, I rolled in two more just so I have 10, like I said. There is um, 
I think it's the recycling. Yeah. Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> I'm actually filming on a weekday because my boss told me I had to take 20 hours of vacation or else I'd lose it. So that's why I'm filming on a Monday. Anyway, um, yes, so I rolled in two more eyeshadow palettes. And how I did this is I randomized them in my collection and then I decide at the time whether I'd want to include them in this project or not. And I honestly don't know if I declutter either of these, but I think it's just a good chance to get use out of them anyway. And they both ended up being mini palettes. So the first one is from e.l.f. This is the Bite Size Palette in Eau de Rose. I don't know if that's French, like if there's only French on here, so it's actually rose water. I don't know, but it's this little one here. Um, I do know I like these palettes. I have another one, the cream and sugar one in my pan those eyeshadows, so I know I like them. But um, it's just this color story that I might not need because. Again, I think you can even tell based on like the Pretty Fun and Fearless, the Studio Makeup Palette. It's another like purpley neutral mauve tone palette. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. If I end up doing a look that I really like, I'll just keep this one. And I do also think it's nice to have these palettes in my collection um, because they're really affordable, they're easily accessible, even in Canada we can get these at Walmart. So I might keep this one. And then this one, you might be surprised because I literally just got it. The Rare Beauty Sincerely Me Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This came in a set around the holidays with the mini mascara and I was really excited about it, but I didn't realize that the shade in the middle is a pressed glitter. So that's kind of disappointing since there, there are only five shadows in here. Um, but the rest of the shades I do really like and I love these like mustardy orange shades and that is a matte. So yeah, we'll just see. I more so am wanting to include this one just to try it. Um, I probably won't declutter it because it's new. But again, I really want to just... I mean, the purpose of this project is also to get use out of my eyeshadow palettes. So yeah, two palettes coming in. And I think that's it. Yeah, so that is everything for my update. Um, I'll try to be more... What's the word? Consistent. That's the word. I'll try to be more consistent with filming these updates because I realized that while I was talking about these palettes that I kept, I couldn't really, really remember why I kept them. <laughs> so hopefully in the future, I'll film this more often and we'll be able to see. And maybe I'll, if I remember, I probably won't but I can take pictures of the looks that I do so that I have those to share with you also. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for this project, if you're doing this project, let me know below. I think it's really fun um, and a good way for those of us that don't like to just declutter things, you know, quickly or without having tried them without having tried things and then just decluttering them. I don't know. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!